Darren's on his way for a drop off at Paul's, then to the farm, then he's back here for the calendar shoot tonight. <laughs> We're on our way to Calvia Village now. Got a staircase to deliver one of our clients, Paul. Paul owns uh, Calvia Antiques. He's a property developer as well. He's one of the first people I met when I came to the island. So uh, we've got a quite a good relationship. Don't even have to discuss price or money or anything. He just, I'll have it. Fantastic. Come through, see right, where my all your, all you your work's gone. Yes, you good? At Paul's house, he brought the uh, staircase rail off Darren from a house that we took it out of. When we got there, there, was no, there wasn't even a staircase there. He said, oh no, don't worry, the staircase isn't built yet. You have to come up the ladder. Right, this staircase is actually going here. This staircase is actually going to be put... Bring it this to here, Aaron, leave it here. Leave it here for now, bring the other one ho over, put it round the right way. Obviously I do demolition, rubbish clearance, house clearance, etc. Um, I think it was literally when we first started, um, <coughs> walked in there, we did this house clearance and we found these um, antique encyclopedias, um, big ones like that all in immaculate condition and I thought I'm gonna and a couple of pictures and a couple of this and I thought I'm gonna try and pop in this antique shop <coughs> and I met Vivian and Paul and they were really nice and um, that's my first sale ever with them that was 12 13 years ago and uh, ever since then anything I ever get like in this shop here I'll take a photograph of it send it to him he'll go yes please no no yeah. thanks isn't that outstanding great isn't it it's like being in a theatre, and this is the front seat. Absolutely perfect. And Beautiful. everywhere I look, the things that you've produced, the spug and beer here. Half plants, yeah. Yeah, half and that's them. the grass that we thought was dead, and it's come out like little umbrellas. It's amazing. Oh yeah. And the colour of the in that purple bush that was looked dead when you brought it here. So, and each one Got we left good. it with the. When I first met Paul, he only owned his antique shop and then he got into properties and now he's quite a big property developer and we do a lot of work with Paul. Anything that we can do for him we do, anything that he can do for us he calls us. Paul's home is absolutely a, a beautiful and amazing, he, you know he's spent a lot of time and money making his house how he wants it and it's fantastic. So an average day at the storage, um, first things first, check all the bank accounts, make sure that we've got enough money to pay all the bills, because part of my job is to be the accountant, and make sure that uh, I've, I've helped Darren with any, any emails that he might have, any quotations, any invoices, um, and then normally it's on to um, sort of working in the shop front as well. So making sure that everything that comes in gets clean, displayed, making sure that the girls know what they're doing all the time when they're here. Uh, we do a lot of our um, selling actually on social media, so everything's put onto the various Facebook sites. So we're busy taking pictures, making sure the pictures look right, measuring lots of things, moving lots of things, trying to help people put things mm. in very small cars. Um, Every day is a challenge and not every day is the same. It's different every day. Stick it on the tree. Yeah. Okay. It's black beauty. Occasionally in Mallorca, sometimes the sky just changes like that and then it all comes crashing down. We have a huge storm and it's happened quite a few times since we've been here. So apart from running around and getting all the stock in to not get rained on, we normally stick Jill out on a little surfboard and get her to catch some customers if there's any going past, just for a bit of fun. Yeah. The girls are great. I said that very loud because they can probably hear me in there. We've, Sue's been working with me for 
Yeah. Well, since we opened up here from the very beginning of yeah. the storage unit, she helped us with the planning, uh, helped us with the pricing, and she basically does everything. She's a bit like um, a female version of Potter. She likes to have her own toolkit. She's very handy at fixing things. Jill, the customers love her because she's. Uh, when she goes out to do a hard sell, she goes, oh, that one's 50 euros. And they go, can I have a discount, please? I'm not sure. I'll ask my boss. And they go, and she goes, no, I'm sorry. You can't have a discount. And they go, OK. They think she's so sweet, they buy it anyway. <laughs> we had one of our regular customers come in, a lady who lives just over the road from us. And she wanted a, she came in asking for a pimped up pram. And basically, it was for her little dog. She likes to walk a lot, and the dog that she's acquired so old, is, yeah. is, is old and it's a little bit lazy. Walk, can't so walk. She, and um, she's a bit of a superstar. She likes to go to lots of parties and is always walk, out walking. So she decided it would be better just to have the pram so that the dog didn't get tired. But uh, she's a bit of a wacky character, so she wanted it pimped up a little bit, shall we say. So we got little Scarlet in to help decorate the, the pram for the dog. Uh, and she's often seen wa walking up and down the front in Palma Nova with a little dog with a little pink ribbon in its hair, pushing it, pushing it in the pram. Every day is a different day at Darmar. I worked with Mary about 12 years ago um, at the Marriott. Mary was... Um, an OPC and I was doing telemarketing. We ended up working closely together there and became friends and um, out of work as well because we used to commute together. So we both lived in Palma Nova. And then my partner and Darren became friends and then my partner started working with Darren. So I came to Mallorca in March 2019 after seven months of traveling and then settled here I got a little job in a restaurant down on Palma Nova Front and that was the first summer season that I was here and then in the October, nearly two years ago, Mary offered me a job here. There's a week for you. Is that a shame? It's like a punishment duty. Everybody hates the farm. It's like, doesn't matter how hot it is, the hottest place on the earth, whenever they work there. And all they do, all of them say, I'd rather take half a day than stay up the farm. It is like no shelter, just heat pounding down on you. It's basically a processing yard. So, Everything, because we, because we, we recycle everything basically, everything gets recycled. But to recycle things, it still costs us money to, to recycle it, we have to take it to the recycling plants, everything else. So what we do is we, we tip, we sort through everything and separate everything so that we can pay for it to be tipped or pay for it to be recycled, but at its individual tariffs. If we took everything from one house and didn't process anything, the tipping costs would be higher, nothing would be recycled, to its to its best potential you know it'd all be just dumped I've, I've been we've both been up to the farm on separate occasions um is like a massive recycling unit isn't yeah. it it's it's interesting to see what's up there but i love i love the drive up the horses and the animals around see if that works mate. That works it's, an, it's an electric pump for balloons Yeah. Yeah. No, I did some business while you was away, did you, mate? Made a few sales while you was. You can tell him. <laughs> right. Well, we actually met. Um, we actually met in Marbella. Um, I lived in Kent. So did Darren, but we didn't know it at the time. And um, it's actually a funny story how we met because one, one of my best friends was really, really, really drunk, and she had one of those old-fashioned cameras where you have the film in it. And she was so drunk that um, the film had run out and she didn't realise, so she'd gone to him, can you take a picture? And he was going, silly woman, there's no, there's no film in there. And I'm like, just humour her. 
uh, and that was it really we got talking yeah, and got uh, chatting away yeah, yeah. then I, I was out there with like a thousand people on a big uh, do called Truman do uh, was just thousands of people and I took Mary to it and I kept uh, in with him so that I could go to all the parties you see and uh, well we just stayed together it was one of the luckiest days of our life absolutely and, uh, of we've course. been together ever since, 17 years later. Yeah. Yeah, mad. 2008, we moved to the island. We got married in 2007, and literally within six months, we decided that we were going to, you know, start fresh. The idea really was to come here, see if we liked it, with always the option to go back, but we never left. Yeah. So that was it. We yeah, left the we island. Had, yeah, we had an option. You, you got uh, paid work, didn't you? Yeah. It was, uh, six months pay. Uh, from work and I thought that too. We come over here looking for apartments and everything and we just thought what's the point of going home? We love it here so much. I uh, started oh, years and years and years ago in London when um, the London Council went privatised and you had to buy uh, all commercial buildings, you had to buy your own sacks. So I had my own company, my own uh, name on them and I went round London, the whole of London, everywhere, just touting for business. That I had me trucks with cages on. I used to collect all their rubbish. And then while I was doing that, used to do, um, we used to call it special assignment job, like where it would be building rubble we took away. And then, then gradually that overtook the bags, and I just carried on doing this. And I ended up buying four lorries. I had about 15 men working for me in London. Um, and that didn't work because they kept getting parking tickets and speeding fines and no one had owned up to them and in the end I just gave up there and we... That's you, we you that's yeah, you saw a niche in the market here um, that nobody was really doing it um, so it seemed like the right thing to try and set up and do it here. So that's how Dharma was born on yeah, the Yeah, no one was doing it the way I do it over here or over there. Come on Darren, come on out. No, I feel like a right idiot. Happy holidays! <laughs>